And now, ladies and gentlemen, once and for all, let's get ready to rumble 12 rounds for the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the white trunks with black trim, and weighing in at 212 and one quarter pounds. He's originally from St. Louis, Missouri, now lives in Wilmington, Delaware. This Olympic gold medal champion has a professional record of 31 victories without a loss, 21 by knockout. He is the former undisputed and undefeated light heavyweight champion of the world and the only king of that division ever to win the heavyweight title in the history of boxing. Because he never lost that title in the ring, he is still recognized by many, including Boxing Illustrated and Ring Magazine, as the heavyweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, the undefeated man who brings the jinx, Michael And fighting out of the red corner, wearing the solid black trunks and weighing 218 and one quarter pounds, originally from the streets of Brooklyn. He passed through the hometown of the late great trainer of champions, Custom Auto, Catskill, New York, and he now lives in North New Jersey. His professional record, 34 consecutive victories with 30 knockouts, including 26 KOs and five rounds or less and 15 in the first round alone. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the undisputed, the undefeated, heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson! And Larry, as referee Frank Cappuccino begins to issue final Ladies instructions, let me ask about one possibility. In the dressing room. Are there any listen questions to this. by either of you? All right, both of you touch gloves. Good luck to both of you. Could it be that this eerie atmosphere is what Butch Lewis wanted? I don't think anybody is smart enough to figure how everybody would react to that. I do think that this fight will be decided by two things. How Michael Spinks can deal with the extreme pressure that Tyson puts on a fighter, that can totally discombobulate a man who's used to setting his own tempo. Go, and secondly, go, what go. happens when Tyson hits him? Because he figures to get hit in this fight go, somewhere harder than he's ever been hit before. I see that Mike, Michael Spinks is a little tight. His legs are not as loose as they normally have been in the past. Now watch Tyson jump right into his chest. Ooh. Michael Spinks, give him a little movement. Keep those hands high. Burger stepping high. in. All right, stop punching. Whoa, whoa. Hey, Mike, knock it off, man. Knock it off. Cappuccino already warning Mike about the elbows. Various opponents have complained that Tyson rocks them with elbows along the ropes in close. You see the tactics uh, used by Michael Spinks now. He's throwing his jab, but he has to keep those hands extremely high. Watch both the uppercuts too. Tyson landed a left hand in close quarters, and now Cappuccino goes to work again. Tyson not afraid. As we expected, and Spinks ready to mix it up with him. Tyson along the ropes doing damage. Michael Spinks has to keep moving because every shot. Oh, Uppercut that's... landed inside and Spinks went down. Uh, it was the left uppercut. I was surprised there was a body shot that put him to the canvas. And that is the first time Michael Spinks has ever been down in a professional fight. And he's down again and in serious trouble. A right hand right on the chin. He's not going to make it. It's all over. Now we know why Butch Lewis wasn't anxious for Michael Spinks to fight Mike Tyson in the unification series. 
What happened in that round was that Mike Spinks got hit and his natural instinct as a champion and as a winner was to try to fight back instead of covering up. And because he wanted to fight back, he got knocked out. There's a great deal of pandemonium in the ring now. It's lasted a minute and a half. There's a near riot taking place on the apron in front of us. Only now is it beginning to calm down. The first time Michael Spinks has ever been knocked down throughout his career. We see uh, Mike Tyson congratulate Michael Spinks and uh, Tyson trying to show some concern. Please clear the ring. The clear the ring. Security, please clear the ring. The pre-fight delay outlasted the fight by about 15 minutes. I, ex I didn't expect Michael Spinks to go down from a body shot. Well, I can't remember it much because it was just, a, it was so quick, a right hand. But my main objective was to come out here and take him out. Put your right hand to the body. Put your right hand to the body. Yeah, a, right, a left uppercut and a right to the body. My producer is telling me in my ear, is that what started uh, the beginning of the end? Did you think there was any way he could deal not just with your punch, but with the pressure. Well, can I tell you, as you notice, I was more, I was moving more. I was coming out with my jab more. I took it right to him. You know what I mean? I, it was do or die. I, I came in. You know, my protection was either do or die. That's what we came out to do. Was your perception of the fight that you are simply too strong for him? I, is, I was just all around a better fighter than he is. You know what I mean? You could be strong, but the power doesn't have no no value unless you have means of landing it on the target. And as you know, he's very elusive. And he was throwing punches, and I was making him miss. And he didn't hit me with one punch. But no one said that, though. I'm just a slugger. All right, now, in your, now again in your memory, because we don't have a, a monitor, the finish. You're a great finisher. What went through your mind when you saw that he was hurt? And then you went in for the finish. Well, I knew, when I went into the turn, I knew all my punches were going to be precise and accurate pinpoint, and it wasn't going to survive the round. 